What's up you guys? Welcome back to my vlog. This is Callie Sue and If you haven't been here before, well then go to my page or my channel and go check out all my other videos because they're super fun. And um, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. I don't know, say whatever, just, you know, send love. First up today is a story time, a little catch up on the last, like, whatever, because I never, I never like followed up after my flight and the interview and all that kind of stuff. Um, I ended up not doing it. I decided that it just wasn't something I wanted anymore. And I felt like I owed it to myself for a long time to follow up with that and actually apply even though like my heart wasn't super set on it. I was like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I wanted to do it for so long. But honestly, I don't really wanna be uprooted. I don't wanna move to a new city. I just miss my family and I'm ready to go back and see my family. That's it, just watch, okay. Let's go. Okay, if you know me, you know I'm a waitress, server, person. I have a lot of crazy stories. I've been working in customer service since I was um, 16. The restaurant industry is just like, it's just wild. And I hope you guys are ready to hear about it. <laughs> if you are going to get into the server industry and that's why you're watching this video, just beware. There's like a few things you need to know. Number one. Almost everybody does cocaine. Like pretty much everybody. Like I, when I was younger, I just thought that like, you know, like you would tell when people did cocaine, but no, you can't always tell. Pretty much everyone does cocaine. Kind of wild. Number two. You will feel disrespected in many ways. Schedule wise, and then like the guys in the kitchen, I don't know, I've never seen women really harass men. I've heard of it happening, but mostly like guys in the back cooking the food. They'll harass you, they probably will. I haven't worked at a single restaurant that hasn't had guys that harass you. Number three, doesn't matter what your schedule is or your availability, you're gonna work during times you don't wanna work. Nights, weekends, terrible awful shifts. You better get ready for it or just like don't be there. And if you have a certain time you want to be home, forget it, forget it, forget it. It's not going to happen. You don't get off at 9, you don't get off at 10, you don't get off at 11, you get off whenever your like stuff is done and people are gone. Like that's just how it is. So like don't expect to like go to work at a certain time and then get off at a certain time. That's not a thing. Number four, mm -hmm. number four, people are freaking crazy. That's really all I have to say. People are freaking crazy. Okay, now that I've told you my four, let's go to story time. I work at this place where food is like, it's huge. Like if you order a salad, it will feed you for days. Like actually days, like it's probably like this big. It's like, it's like this. And then it's like this, this tall. Like they're huge. So just keeping that in mind, all the food is massive. Usually when I talk to a table, they'll be like, oh, we're each gonna get a salad and then we'll get a pizza and we'll each get our own like 14 inch pizza. I'm like, that's probably not a good idea. You're going to take home all your food or you're gonna waste it. So like, it's probably not a good idea. So I usually tell people, I'm like, just so you know, our salads are like this big, they're bigger than your head and you're not gonna be able to eat it all. I um, was talking to this table, there were six, it was like six people, five or six. It was a husband, a wife, and three kids, and then like a grandparent. So like just a pretty normal family. Well, when they were talking to the host, I guess they were like kind of the woman, the wife, the mom was kind of rude. And I totally didn't really think anything of it. I was like, whatever, they've been really nice. And they, they came in, they sat down. So we have two pizzas that take an hour, like 50 minutes to an hour, generally closer to an hour. They're like this thick and a 12 inch, like that's a lot of pizza. Like most people can't eat more than one slice and it comes with like, I wanna say eight slices. Yeah, I'm gonna say eight slices. The woman seems super nice. She's so nice to me. 
I don't have any problems with her. Like everything's cool. Everything is chill. But no, dude, it is not chill. This lady's crazy. Just wait. When they are taking their order, she orders a pizza that is no longer on the menu. So I'm like, we can still hook it up. I'll build it for you. Like, we'll just put all the toppings on there that came on the original pizza. She got super stoked and was super nice. And I was just feeling her. I was like, this is cool. We're vibing. I totally did something cool for you and you're totally digging it. And I love this. They ordered two pan pizzas. The difference between the pan and the stuffed is the stuffed has an extra layer of crust on top. So like such a small difference. So like, I guess I could see how one would get confused. Anyways, they ordered two pan pizzas, one 18 inch thin crust pizza, and two massive salads. And I think they also ordered calamari. They wanted everything out at the same time, which is fine. That's a lot of food to have on a table with six people, but it's fine. You don't need to freak out. It's when we brought the food out that everything like went to crap. So I bring the first two pizzas. These are like the big heavy pizzas. I had already placed three pizza racks on on the table. Like it's a pretty good sized table, but that much food can I guess be overwhelming? But they ordered it and I warned them about it. Like I had said, this is a lot of food. And they were like, it's fine. We are so hungry. You have no idea. We're so hungry. We just got off a plane, like we're starving, like it's fine. So I was like, cool, oh, whatever. So I'm holding these two hot, fresh out of the oven pizzas in my hands and they're heavy. Like these pizzas are probably 10 pounds each, maybe a little bit less, but they're heavy for pizzas. So I go to set the first one down. Now the, 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 the stacker, the thing that the pizza goes on was right in front of the woman. I set it down in front of her, okay? She starts flipping out. Let me just give you an example. So I'm setting the pizza down. The other one's still in my hand. It's very, very heavy, very, very hot. I have a cloth in my hand. She freaks out. She starts cursing at me and I'm like, okay, let me just get this towel here. And she starts putting her hands on the hot pizza that just came out of the oven. So now I'm like, here, just let me grab it. Just let me grab it with the with the pot holder. She takes the pizza and throws it across the table. I barely caught it with my other hand so it didn't fall off the table. Like literally threw the pizza like at me. At this point, I'm like shaking. I'm like, what the heck? This woman is screaming at me in the middle of the restaurant and I don't know why. And she goes, that's not the pizza we ordered. And there's too much stuff on the table. And I'm just like, oh, what are you talking about? This is exactly what you ordered. I wrote it down and everything. She throws the pizza at me. She's screaming at me and I just start shaking. Her kids are like, her kids are trying to help her like move stuff around so she feels less crowded. And she's freaking out more saying like, don't touch me, don't touch anything. And like screaming at her kids. Her husband then goes, kids like mommy's having a, like mommy needs a break. Like don't touch anything, just let her fix it. Nobody looks at me, nobody apologizes, no nothing. This pizza almost went all over me and I like caught it before it, like the burning pizza was all over me. And I just run away. I start crying, like bawling my eyes out. This woman is screaming at me. It was the most horrifying thing. We also had a new manager on the time. This manager, he's awesome. He really does try to do his job the best he can. However, so this woman, she complained. So afterwards, like after I left crying, my manager's like, I'm gonna go talk to them, see what's up. My manager went out there and comped everything on their tab. Just, you just rewarded this woman for being awful. Okay, she doesn't even deserve to have any of this food. Just kick her out. Peace out, I'm not touching that table. You can go finish it since you decided to comp their whole entire bill. She just looks at me and smiles and her husband like just like sees me and like keeps walking. Nobody apologizes, literally nobody for the way that she treated me. 
there are many many more stories but i just can't think of them every night is a crazy story um so yeah if you liked watching this video and you were entertained then make sure you like and subscribe